Hello, I am Zara Gagatiga. I am a blogger, librarian, author, storyteller, and teacher. I blog at http blogolibrarian.blogspot.com, the school librarian in action. I keep the blog so that I can always use my writing skills and practice them regularly. As an author, storyteller, and teacher, blogging helps me improve my writing. Another thing I would like to share with you is that I love coffee, sunsets, and trips to the beach. Apart from loving all of those things, I also write stories. I love sharing them and I love telling them. But before I share with you a book that I have written, I would like to ask this question. What are stories? What do you think are stories? Well, let me tell you that there are three important things that I would like to impart about stories. Number one, stories are windows. Be open to different views when you listen to stories. And indeed, the views of the characters and the views of the author himself or herself are revealed in stories. Number two, stories are doors. It invites you to step out of your comfort zone. Stories invite you to imagine, to play, and to wonder. Stories are mirrors too, especially when you read a book you will just find yourself in the pages of the book. Also in the stories that you listen to, you will find that the characters and some events may mirror or reflect your own experiences. And so when we listen to stories as windows, as doors and as mirrors, we find joy and hope. And in this time of the pandemic, a sense of healing, a sense of happiness, and a sense of reassurance that everything will be okay. And so I begin. I am going to read aloud a story that I have written, My Daddy, My One and Only, and this is illustrated by John Mike Tejido. I have written this in 2013, but this story, My Daddy, My One and Only, is actually based from a real life situation. Before we dive into the story, I have three questions to ask you and that I would like you to keep in mind as I read aloud. The first question is, what ideas and experiences will I hear and see from the story? The second question, what will I enjoy from the story? And the third question, which of the characters can I relate to? And so you see the cover of our book, My Daddy, My One and Only. There is a boat or a ship. And on the boat, we have two elephants and one bird, probably a parrot. I wonder where the two elephants are going. What is their relationship with each other? Don't forget that this book, My Daddy, My One and Only, is published by Lampara Books. And so we move on. Let me open the ebook. Here it is. Let's start. This is the title page. And we begin. One day, my classmate John was bragging about this new watch that his daddy bought him. It was blue, silver, gold, and shining. I couldn't help but say, amazing. He says his daddy loves him so. That's why his things are never old. He always has something new, toys, books, CDs, and clothes in current use. And look at him in his room. What a fancy room with lots of things inside. His daddy works in a bank in Makati. Indeed, his daddy earns a lot of money. His daddy wears a coat and tie. His daddy drives a fast and fancy car. I wish I had a daddy like John's who has millions in his bank account. But then again, on second thought, it's the things my daddy does that count the most. What are those things that daddy really helps in everything at home 
with the baby elephant. He helps me with homework and checks him every night to see if I'm learning from what is wrong and what is right. There you go. They're working on a science project and it lit up and they made a robot. What a wonderful time this baby elephant is having with his dad. He reads me stories from a book or tells me jokes he knew from childhood. One plus one, Magellan. Two plus two, Lapu Lapu. Three plus three, Christmas tree. Four plus four, hmm, Bagong Bapor. Five plus five, Voltes five. Six plus six, Mathematics. Seven plus seven, Stairway to Heaven. Eight plus eight, Chocolate. Nine plus nine, Lucky nine. Ten plus ten, whoops, I'm not gonna say it. He taught me how to fly a kite. He dressed my wound when I fell off my bike. At all times, he reminds me, never be a sissy. Stand up for myself when teased by the school bully. He plays the guitar and sings to my mom when she is sad, tired, and very lonesome. He sends me to and picks me up from school. My daddy is real. My daddy is cool. These things he does mean more to me. My daddy is the best, the one and only. And so that's it. What are the things that the baby elephant's dad do all the time that really means a lot to him? Let's go back to the questions and see how we can respond to them one at a time. So in your own time and in your own space, go back to the questions and answer them. What ideas and experiences will I hear and see from the story? What will I enjoy from this story? Which of the characters can I relate to? So you have to think and feel and try to figure out what matters to you as your response in the story. To help you think further, you can write or draw your responses. The ideas I got from the story are, write and draw them here. The things I enjoyed from the story are, place them all here. And the last, I can relate with the name of the character, hmm, baby elephant. I can relate to the baby elephant because write and draw your answer here. And so with that, I end our read aloud and storytelling session. Do you have any questions for me? I appreciate feedback from my readers. You can send them via email or check me out on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. I would like to hear from you. So send me a message and I will answer them as honestly as I can. So as a goodbye story to everyone, I would like to share this story about Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. Let's put them inside their houses. One day, Mr. Wiggle thought of visiting his friend, Mr. Waggle. So Mr. Wiggle walked up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, and reached Mr. Waggle's house. He knocked on the door, knock, 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 but there was no answer. Perhaps Mr. Waggle was away, and so he walked back, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. He opened his door and went inside his house. On the following day, it was Mr. Waggle's turn. He said, aha. I will visit my friend, Mr. Wiggle. So he opened his house and went outside. He walked down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, and reached Mr. Wiggle's house. He knocked on the door. There was no answer. Probably Mr. Wiggle was out of the house. Hmm. So he went back. 
He walked down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. He opened his door inside his house. He went. And on the third day, they thought of visiting each other. So they walked down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. And then they met halfway. Mr. Wiggle said, hey, Mr. Wiggle, I went to your house the other day, but you weren't there. Yes, because I had to visit my sister. <gasps> but Mr. Wiggle, I went to your house yesterday. You weren't there. Yes, I went to buy some groceries. Ah, they both said, but we're here now. And so they talked and talked and talked until they got tired. And then they said, let's visit each other again. Indeed. And next time, I'll bring snacks. I'll bring coffee and some drinks. And they hugged each other and said goodbye. They walked down the hill, up the hill, down the hill, up the hill. They opened their doors into their houses, went back. They ate their dinner, brushed their teeth, prepared for bed, and they slept, dreaming of wonderful days together, talking together, drinking coffee together, and eating together as good friends do. And so, my dear listeners, thank you for a wonderful time. I enjoyed sharing my stories with you. I hope that in this time of the pandemic, you'd be able to get in touch with friends despite the quarantine and the lockdown. Stay healthy, protect yourself, and yes, listen to stories, and one day, write your own. Bye-bye!